Ipswich's loyal supporters know that a draw will be enough to preserve the first division status that they've enjoyed for 17 years. While the Luton fans know their team must go for a win, they remember it was against City that Luton's last first division campaign ended eight years ago. And indeed, it was Dennis Stewart who got City's goal that day in a 1-1 draw. Stewart keeps his place today as John Benson retains the side which won at Luton's Cup final. He has Paul Elliott back in defence after suspension and he banks on a midfield of Hill, Horton and Donaghy, which did well when Luton beat City in December. With David Moss still injured, Fleet takes a gamble on Brian Steen, who has started only one league match in the last five months and whose foot injury has restricted him to 19 First Division games in which he has claimed 15 goals. What a tense day for the two managers. David Fleet there, the Luton Town boss, shaking hands with his opposite number, John Benson. What a nice touch when both men, and indeed possibly their futures, are balanced on a knife edge. And the referee on a day when there's so much at stake is Arnold Challoner of Maltby in South Yorkshire. Luton to kick off in the orange shirts a week ago. They didn't believe it was possible for them to find themselves in this position. City in blue with Asa Hartford on the ball have been told that lots of pictures could depend on their result here today. Here's Ray Ranson. And Godley came to meet Dennis Stewart and took it very cleanly. A test there as Ranson crossed. coming 
coming in with Tony Clayton marking him successfully and Stewart. That's a good ball for Bond. And that might be for Reeves. Oh, superb switch in play by City. But is there anybody with the legs to get up front? Stewart's trying. Reeves had to hold on. There was nobody in the centre when he wanted to cross the ball first off. Started at a run and the legs of Goodyear there for Luton. In goes Reed. Reeves, Baker, Power. And the crowd get behind City. McDonald, Logan. Well, there's not much between the two sides in the league table. And there's not much between them on the pitch this afternoon so far. Reeves, there might be now. Well, we're no further forward in a sense than we were at the start. The first half in which the team shared the play generally, although City came very strong in the last ten minutes. And the half-time score, if it was to be the full-time score, would favour them and not Luton.